Wow, things happen in threes. All right, Aries, things happen in threes. Now, so I'm going to start here with the past. You guys have the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune talks about a faded event, things that are happening um, potentially again. Um, you guys could have reconnected with an ex. This is some really big returning energy somewhat. So, you know, returning energy, some, some ex coming back from the past, someone that, you know, that's familiar. Uh, this could also be a change of luck for a lot of you guys. And I really feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, there was just something that happened that was just that was just meant to happen. There was something that was destined to happen. Now, for some of you guys, right, it could be a Scorpio. And I feel like um, with Judgment coming up, this is a situation where you've been here before and you know how to handle it a lot differently than you've handled it prefer before and potentially in the past, especially if it's, this is an ex. And the reason why I say this is because judgment is talking about a situation where it's it's pretty much a call to action, right? You know how to handle something um, more so now because you've been you've gone through a journey uh, that pretty much groomed you and teach taught you how to handle situations like this. So I do feel like with the judgment card coming up, there is this shift in focus. Excuse me, not shift in focus, but there is this you know, the second chance that happened in the past year, second time around, potentially with an ex, somebody that you still have a love for. You have the king of wands coming up, and you guys would come up as the queen of, of uh, wands. Not because, you know, for those, no, because I'm not because I'm reading for a female audience, because the queens can be anything, but kings are fixed signs, and Aries, you're a cap, you're a cardinal sign. So, you wouldn't come up as a king, you'd come up as queen here. So this individual that's in your external energy, do you see them as your partner? You see them as someone that really completes you in a sense. They are the other part of you know. They are the um and the addition to the suit. You know the the king and queen. Um, for those of you though, this you know that don't have anybody in your life, this could potentially be you, right? You feel like absolutely top of your game. You feel very confident. You guys could be ready to single, ready to mingle. Okay. This is a good card, and I'm really happy about this because this is talking about a lot of change, a lot of things are happening, but it's all for the better, and it's all to just show you how much you've grown, how much you've changed, how much you, you've really developed. And this could be for everybody, actually. It doesn't necessarily have to be for the single people. It could be for even the people that are in a relationship now or have gotten back together with their ex. They may have come back but just because of the King of Wands here, like I explained before. But again, this could even be you two Aries, you know what I'm saying? You can feel good, you can feel confident, you can feel very passionate and ready to to express that passion and not hesitate on waiting or or doing anything um, that you feel like you are definitely led to do or that you want to do, right? Because there's no, no, nothing that can nobody can do or say to stop you from doing stuff. Because hey, you know what I'm saying you're ruled by Mars. You're you know you're the Don Data. You you know how to handle situations, especially when things get hot. Okay. So that passion is burning here. That passion has started. You guys are feeling that flame. You guys are ready to go ahead and take on your love life. So now we have this new perspective that you're really utilizing in the present from what you guys have gained potentially from the past, right? So now you're a little bit more relaxed. I feel like you're taking a break. You guys are really looking within, um, especially this, this new perspective is really, I feel like this perspective has come for some very interesting reason. It's calmed you guys. I feel like there's a lot of calming energy here. I feel like it's safe, you're able to relax. Now the King of Wands, you know, like I'm saying, he's very active, he's very busy, he's really a go-getter. And that's you guys, naturally. But I feel like you guys are chill, you guys are pretty calm here. Um, and it's because this person is very relaxing, is very soothing, very emotionally supportive. Um, potentially, you're trying to figure out, for some of you guys that don't have a relationship, potentially, you're trying to figure out who your ideal partner is. You're trying to figure out who you, you know, what you're what you want in a relationship and that's probably why you're taking a step back why you look you know you're you know taking a break potentially this is a relationship where you know you're just kind of taking a moment you're taking it slow you're taking it easy because you're still trying to figure out what it is that you want and then for some of you guys you guys could be at rest because you're in love it could be that you guys you know you just you're you know you're taking you know taking it easy you're just meditating and you feel good with this individual you're in love with this individual or you have love to share with someone um there's a cup of you know there's a cup here with a lid over it so you know what you feel and you don't need to look at it you don't need to see it and i feel like that's what's going on here i feel like you know what's going on you know what you want and therefore you're just all being you're being the you're being the receptive part of your relationship 
perhaps you do you do you did a lot potentially in the past now you're taking it easy this this is very yin energy maybe the perspective was that maybe it's okay to be all right it's okay to you know chill out and just let somebody come to you for once and i feel like that's probably what's going on so maybe you guys are taking this opportunity to just relax and to be re to receive. This can apply to people with relationships as well, right? You're you know allowing your partner to lavish you, to love on you, to pamper you, to nurture you, and I feel like that's totally acceptable, right? It's totally good. That's actually perfect. It gives that balance and that flow. All right, so. I know I put it into judgment, and I'm like, yeah, that's because you went through some stuff to really learn it, right? That call of action, and that was hard, right? Judgment is hard to really go through, but you know what? When you come out of it, you are totally a changed person. You're renewed, you're different, you're sparkling, you're shiny, and you're ready to go ahead and take on the world. Now, I really feel like for those of you that may be going through a situation where this is a new beginning, uh, this is a new way of thinking. This perhaps is a time where you're having to take a moment to really figure out what it is that you want. Because there is something here with the Queen of Cups. She knows what she wants already. She always does. So what is it that you want? What is your new what is this new perspective for you? Um, because and it's totally acceptable to go ahead and take a second uh, take a step back, right? To rest. Um, especially if you guys are not feeling good. You guys could be seeing you know, you guys may be you know, a, a little bit sick this week. But, you know, it's a little side note. Um, but I do get this sense, right, that you're just trying, this could be that you're trying to figure out what it is that you want, or maybe that you're in love and you're trying to, you know, you're trying to just receive that, right? It's totally acceptable to receive. Now, in the future, I really, which I, honestly, I don't mind at all, you have the death card coming up. Yes, and it's a very difficult energy, something that's being released, and it can be a very sl slow process. But what I do get from this from this you know death card is that there is also rebirth and i was just talking about this with pisces right it's not just death that comes up right where things get wiped out it's also rebirth but before there's birth right or, or, there's no real way to figure it out actually right is there's, there's no way to know if there's birth before death or death before birth you know what i mean so i feel like this is you know this is being able to you know, cleanse and, you know, reap the benefits of this cleansing. It's going to take a lot of effort. Um, this new perspective could be about this individual and how they feel, being very sensitive to how they are and very in tune to what their needs are. And, you know, but most importantly, being emotionally supportive, I feel like, for this week to someone else. Maybe you have to give to someone else. But I feel like you it's about receiving this week. I really feel like there's receiving energy. And it's hard to do, especially when you can do everything yourself. But I feel like that's the that's the kicker, right? Receiving. And because here you're going through death death, you're releasing something, you're 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 exfoliating so that way you can have a you know a clear space for whatever you're trying to manifest to come into fruition. And I do see you happy about this. You're rocking in it. You're rocking in it. You're successful. You're happy. Um, and I feel like it's because you've put in the effort to be receptive. You put in the effort to release this old ways of being, these old ways of thinking, these old ways of feeling. You've released that, so that way you can be able to gain more. You can feel more, you know, recognized. You feel more. Um, you know, you feel that victory that you were looking for. And the Knight of Swords is that you, you're you coming out with truth. You're coming out with all kinds of, you know, truth. You're fighting for things. Okay, this could be that, um, this could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and this could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You got two cards in here that indicate Scorpio. Okay, so, well, three. But, oh, two, definitely Scorpio. One, potentially Scorpio. Okay, I'm going to pull one card here for the future energy here. I'm just curious. What are you releasing? Why are you, why do you feel victorious? And what are you going after? What are you fighting for? The Five of Pentacles. Whoa. Whatever makes you, whatever made you feel, you know, left out in the cold, whatever that is, it's, yeah, it's a process. It's a grueling process, especially with the five of, five of pentacles. I hope I said five of pentacles, not five of swords. If I said five of swords, I meant five of pentacles. 
and it's gaining it's gaining control and you know feeling victorious of feeling you know left out in the cold or feeling like feeling isolated this is also a period where you're very vulnerable right now okay so this is possibly like allowing people to you know allowing yourself to feel you know be comforted or to be shown love because of this time of vulnerability for you maybe you've never you haven't been vulnerable in a very long time and this is another thing like you have to learn you know, you're learning here to be vulnerable with the people that you love and be vulnerable with the person that you're involved with um and i feel like with the death card here with the five pentacles yeah it's overcoming that you know that feeling of being left out in the cold that struggle you know of constantly feeling like you're having to you know you know pick up the pieces or you know there's something that's lacking in the relationship it's really you know not necessarily releasing that but we found it i feel like it's finding the solution to be able to release that right finding this what's lacking so you can release it and i feel like that you feel good about the effort that's been put in you feel that that victory and you're able to continue to fight for you know stability fight for feeling more stable in the relationship all right, guys, so I'm going to pull you guys uh, your romance angels. See what they say for this week. Alright, and you guys have let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. This is the present, y'all. So I was saying it's about yin, it's about give it's about letting people give. And that's the hard part. Because you're the go-getter, right? Like I was saying, if you want something, you can do it yourself, right? There's nothing stopping you. But it's the waiting in this that allowing of other people to kind of do stuff is it's it can be frustrating. But it shows that they care it shows it, it shows that you can receive a gratitude um it is or shows that you can be patient it's a new thing that you're learning and it's going to be a little bit difficult but that's what i'm saying like this is this is good because you can receive and you you can love be loved on and you can be you know you know pampered nurtured let people let let people love you let people in and if you can let people in you're on point with it everything's great Allowing, you know, let going of control issues. That's, he sense, and I feel like this way you come out of this feeling good, you're feeling pampered, you're feeling cared about. You're not feeling left out in the cold. You conquered this, you know, you're feeling like you have that stability. And you can go back and run and do whatever you want to do, right? You can pamper them if you want to. You can, you know, you feel, you know, you have something to fight for. You feel proud, right? I feel like that's the ultimate energy here. That's proud, proud energy. Because you can say that the person that you are in a relationship with can give back to you. Now, for some of you guys, if they, you know, if the Five of Pentacles is actually saying that you realize that you be sitting there waiting and they don't actually give you anything back, well, then you know that there are some things that you need to fight for, right? This, you need to fight for yourself. You need to fight for your, you know, you feeling as though you are valued, you recognize in the relationship. Okay. You know, if this happens to, you know, you know, to be something different for some of, some people out there, this could be like, hey, okay, well, Dad, there is something lacking in this relationship. I'm, I'm going to be up on you about it because you deserve it as, you know, the Six of Wands. 